<laughs> there it is, folks. Opa! Welcome to another episode of Stavi's World. So happy to have my friends here. Matteo, Marie. We're we going to get to all your fucking questions. We're going to solve your life's problems. Call 904-800-STAV. But first, I'm going to chop it up with my guys here. We're going to fucking catch up. It's good Nef, to see both of you. <laughs> That's right. Good to see both of you. Wow. Marie, I do like that we talked about it before. You are wearing the Spinelli cosplay with the orange hat. Well, <laughs> and, you know, people and, say I'm kind of mean. I don't you really, are a little, you I don't are really mean. feel that, though. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are one of the rudest people I've ever met in my life. That is true. <laughs> some say rude. Some say honest. You yeah. know? <laughs> they go hand in hand. I was going to exactly. say, I think those are mutually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just a good Christian gal. <laughs> no. When's the last time you went to church? Who? No. <laughs> I played one of the three wise men once, though. Did you? What? You know I forgot the line, but I stole that show. <laughs> Which one? Myrrh, frankincense? I'm going to say frankincense, because that's okay. the one that sounds sexy. That does sound good. I mean, myrrh sounds good. Myrrh. Myrrh sounds good. Like purr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, purr, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Of course. You get it. Yes, thank you guys for coming all the way out to Queens. Oh, my God. Despite your protestations, you made it here finally. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I'm happy to have you guys in the stew. How's it going? I haven't seen you motherfuckers forever. Okay, you, so now who did ahead? the wall? Who painted this? My sister-in-law. I mean, she did a great job. Did great she do Greek diners? Uh, no, but I, we literally <laughs> looked at Google image search Greek restaurant mm. wall to make this happen. This is a composite. Okay. It's I, incredible. I feel you. like I'm in Santorini right now. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. That's right. She did good with the textures of the clouds. See that? Yeah, I know. That's the, sponge work right that's there. Spa, yep, sponge work. It's really <laughs> nice. She was over here like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come on we don't spare any fucking expenses around here on stavi's world we wanted you to feel like you're in a greek this is if you're if your therapist was a vulgar comedian that works at a greek restaurant that's that's the vibe here so, okay but you know what's up with you guys let's fix your problems before we get into everybody else how's it going i haven't seen you guys in forever I we see each other all the time Pandemic happens, and then yeah. I mean, you busy. You traveling the world. Busy, you dude. you banging girls in I, I don't know states that I can't spell. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we last? Can you spell Colorado? <laughs> Color a dude. Try it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, shit's going good. Um, but yeah, what's up with you motherfuckers? How's it going? You're traveling all over the place too. I, I think we're following each other. Just every week. Like, oh, stop us here last week. I'm like, we got work. the photo. Yeah, we work. do have, we do have the same career. Same career. Yeah. Same audience. Yeah. Um, same body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same body. Same body. Stop, we <laughs> should do an OnlyFans, open up an OnlyFans with just us two and release those pictures. We really should, Come man. on. We you really should. So just, I will say, and I don't, look, this is not, this is kind of like, I can't take, you know, this is like the the guy who, who signed Motown singers claiming like that he made the sound of Motown happen. I was the first guy that got you naked on the internet. I was the first man oh, to get you naked on the internet. No, you weren't because the reason... Well, your, t your texts don't count. I was... A <laughs> <laughs> Your iMessage is the uh, exempt that. <laughs> exempt your iMessage to, to married men. Yeah. <laughs> to closeted no, accountants. I, rem I remember before we met each other, because I was already putting up like nude photos on mm -hmm. Instagram. And then someone's like, Well, you and Stavros basically have the same Instagram. Because <laughs> right. yeah, uh, yeah. the first photo I saw of you is you running through a sprinkler that naked. Was, that was one of the classics. Yeah. The Stavi mm -hmm. baby originals. And then we were like, We should do photos together. Let's yeah. do it each month. The, the funniest is I like, come over for, for Thanksgiving. And Savros literally cooked a turkey. <laughs> yeah, I had a prop turkey ready to go. You cooked a real a turkey. A real turkey, a real bird. And I had no money at the time either. That was like, that, that hit my pot. It was like a $60 turkey. How long did you cook the turkey for? <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. It was like a real turkey. It was, it was crispy. Why didn't you just get like a rotisserie chicken or something? It's, Those listen, are like $9. Listen, you got to fucking fake it till you make it. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here. I you this Greek Yeah, diner. that's right. With he cooked that turkey. <laughs> <laughs> if I had had a rotisserie chicken, we're fucking sitting in my living room right now. No fucking mural behind us. I heard Doing a heard podcast no one's listening to. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> that's it. That's what really catapulted you. It's the turkey. <laughs> it's the turkey. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It was just, every week was about like how to hide our dicks. It was. So we had Mario you... and Luigi one. That was I Halloween. Those. those were classic. I, before you... I had a mustache, I had to put on a fake one. Wow! Can <laughs> wow, you imagine? Look at you now. In the toothless days, the wow. bald and toothless days. The, not, yeah, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> you go like this, like the wind is blowing through your bald spot. 
<laughs> I don't know what you're talking. I have naturally thin hair, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bang is juicy. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. The curls are pretty nice. What kind of shampoo do you use? It, I feel like you use like a three in one. Sulfate free? No, no, mm -hmm. I don't use three in one. <laughs> How dare you? Shampoo, body wash, don't come in lotion. here with your with your stock. <laughs> White men, three in one. You know, I'm, well, the hair is a little stringy, friends. <laughs> Listen, I am in need of a new uh, regimen, of a new routine. But you know, I fucking I, now I don't go to a fucking salon, but at Walgreens, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At Dwayne Reed, I'm I'm doing the the best shampoo I can find at Dwayne Reed. That's okay, what I'm doing. Okay, no that coupons. Little, no coupons, full price, just points. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. My my CVS bucks. I use that shit. Um. I don't know what the fuck is that shit called. You see it in my in my bathroom, Eldis. Uh, is it that round bottle? That shit? round bottle. Nah, it's VO five. I saw no, it. No, <laughs> how dare you? No, I'm not. I'm past looks. Garnier Fruitiques. Garnier Fruitiques. Fruitiques. Oh my god, the green bottle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, if you went to the salon, they would probably make that it look real juicy. They I would might make have it look, to go. You know, just go like once. Where's a, a good quarter. salon? Oh, I don't know. I don't have that kind That's of hair. Right. Or just yeah. get hair transplants. I did it. I don't want to get hair transplants. I do think what because I I think I'm just stick. This is part of the look. We're in a Greek diner. Yes, right. I can't get transplants. This I gotta is your rock brand. this exactly. I got. But I will say, I was just was I telling you about it? No, I was telling my brother about it. Mm -hmm. There will be. I gotta go bald ponytail. I'm gonna wait till it gets real nice and long, and then after that, I do have to make another move. And I was thinking, weaves. I was thinking, <laughs> there is no, there is no, there is no straight white man that's that's dipped his toe into weaves. Why not? Well, they do, yeah, they why, do like, why the barbershop, so they glue the exactly, hair Exactly, exactly. And just fucking come out with a fucking full curl, blonde curls one oh, day. Oh, Fabio. Full <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> and then you guys could do like a rom-com, yeah. like book cover. <laughs> yeah, dude. Twins. I want to, yeah. I want to get married. I want to get married with, a, with a, you know, just hair down to my knees. I think you got to do it. You got to do it every two weeks. So, my, so I had two friends who did it. Okay. They glued hair on the head. They really glued, okay, nice. They glued on the head but then they tell you you can't sweat and you mm. can't itch it so my fr my friend monet got it done and then ripped it off at the airport because it was so itchy oh my god and you're not supposed to like, that's why you must have pat it the you've never seen a pat. black girl do of this of course the classic pat of course that would feel nice i would feel connected mm. to the to the black community if i started patting my my comb over <laughs> if, I, if i look real fast i feel like i'm in haiti <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking sick to just be like a fat 40 year old white man at his son's like parent teacher conference so so he's not listening <laughs> so what's going on with Trav he's just not paying attention <laughs> I'm wearing dockers <laughs> Only kind of tucked in. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's that's a dream. I love that for you. But yeah, we'll get there. So the tra transplant's going good though. You look great. Thanks. It's it's gonna take. So I got it done August 29th, and then it could they all come in uh, September or they come in in the end of December. It takes four Fuck months to yeah, grow. Dude. And when the doctor asked me, he was like, "Lineage? Like, do you have anyone bald in your family?" I was like, "No." He's like, "Your brother? No. My dad? No." Because what about your mom's dad? And I go, "My mom's dad is a Mexican with a one inch forehead." <laughs> Oh, his, he looked like Teresa Judas. No, his hair starts there. His hairline literally starts under his nose. That's like, awesome. And ready, like yeah, yeah. So you got fucked genetically. I got fucked genetically. But Although, you got the you're fucking your body's hot though, dude. Thank you. You got that juicy <laughs> fucking the, the abs. You got the fat ass. It's either that or hair, dude. I'm yeah, you can have both. I'm getting. <laughs> You're clawing you to your hair. That's like when I hear women be like, I want to be with somebody who's tall and smart. I'm like, girl, you're <laughs> yeah. going to be short and smart yeah. or tall and dumb. Exactly. Yeah. And Eldis is 6'5", by the way. So. Oh, and, and he can't read. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons here. <laughs> yeah. None of this is being recorded. <laughs> practicing for his DJ gig this weekend. He legit like this. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. That's good, man. I'm, I'm happy for you. What's going on though overall? You're traveling though. What's the dating life looking like? The dating life is just I was I was sort of seeing this guy for like five months. We would like FaceTime every single day, and then we may have vacations together. Wow, and that's but, cute. But then I was like, oh, do you want to do long distance? And he was like, I can't. It would be impossible. I just can't do it. Interesting. And I was like, God damn. Now like, I'm so. I'm hmm. gay long distance. Isn't that just that a guy dumb. you call sometimes? Yeah. Because all, don't all gay guys suck each other, suck other guys off on the side, or am I being uh, homophobic right now? Uh, both. It's both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're being problematic and I correct. <laughs> yeah. 
I think it's true and homophobic. But I can't. I mean, deny I guess it. there's like twelve guys who don't. There's right. twelve gay Faithful. couples, and yeah. they're lying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one of them is cheating. Most of, the, most of the guys I sleep with, which is like a very small number, but most of them are partners. Yeah. I, nice. I think their husbands know. Of like, course. Like, you think? I love the thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> they tell. What do I do? Don't ask, shit? don't tell. It's yeah. the Clinton army. <laughs> That's, the gays that... brought it back. <laughs> yeah. But just for our own internalized use. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's true. nice. Yeah. I'm dating girls in open relationships. It's pretty nice. It feels like a girlfriend Airbnb is how I put it. Oh, Where okay. it's like, you know, once a week. You know what I mean? I can't afford a house, but. I want to go to the fucking, you know, I want to go to the upstate, you know, what, this weekend. Cabin. <laughs> yeah, cabin I want to in the woods. Cabin. Where do people go upstate? Because I see everyone going upstate. And I'm like, I want to do an upstate weekend. Where do people go? What would you do? Hang out with some bears? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. No, well, that's, that means a lot in the gay community. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yes, he would. Uh, no, I'm not in a, usually into bears, but yeah, I, yeah. he said no, don't. Wow, don't yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't want his DMs flooded with guys that look like me and Eldis. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were into bears. Like, deactivate his whole account. <laughs> I'm actually but bears, married. <laughs> but my like, well, sign me up. But bears are usually like very. I, I feel like if you like are calling yourself a bear, they've got like a bear flag, bear pride. But like bears love bears, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm just sort of like playing Fortnite with friends. I you don't like the work. the tribalism that fat gay guys have have put onto their. Yeah, but it's not just the, it's not just bears. It's every it's like ah, I'm so too much. But I want to find like an upstate like people go and like enjoy yeah a little upstate. cabin yeah where do people go did you go anywhere on this did you ever go upstate like Hudson Va- I mean Hudson New York is nice Woodstock Woodstock, Woodstock? Yeah. you just find like Airbnb mm. yeah, yeah. And then what, you, what do you do up there you just like just try not at, to just die just look at like hippie reform people who like we're you, tired of being poor in the city for like granola? 15 years. You get some apple butter. Yeah, you go to like a, a little apple shop. Apple butter? Yeah, you go some to a shop to make your own apple butter. Mm. You know, Mm-mm. you get your dick sucked while the while the leaves turn. That's <laughs> maybe maybe a deer comes out <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, that's, that's nice. it. You go with someone you want to fuck. You don't go to like, there's nothing to do. So you like, you fuck and then there's like, you go for a little walk and you go, you know, you go to a nice diner. So what would you do, friend? Who would you would Whose husband in, would you take with you? I know. Let me, let me, let me think. <laughs> who's, whose man would you borrow? Yeah. I don't know. I gotta, who's, who's, any, any married single men out there? <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I would like to go and, like, cook. It would be fun to, like, wake up and cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, maybe, like, if there's, like, a hot tub or just be lazy in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, I'm with you. There's something mm, restorative about that. Yeah, that's what y'all say. But it's, I've seen a lot of Lifetime movies. I've seen a lot Where of people episodes. people get killed. Yes. And yeah. it's always, like, this house is very secluded. The neighbor's three miles away, and it's like, you gonna die. <laughs> yeah. What was that movie, The Strangers, or what was it called with Liv Tyler? Remember the... Never saw it. No, The Neighbors, The Strangers, the something, where they, like, not the th- there's, like, a married couple. Oh, yeah, yeah. They go to the fort, like, one of those houses, and then the there's, like, three people keep, like, antagonizing them. Uh, yeah, yes. I am with you, though. Yes. Oh. Those, the fall, the upstate shit is really nice. During the day, and right. then at night, I get a because I'm a city kid. We're all, all city yeah. kids here. We all grew up in so cities. there is a little bit of that. I also well, like so the sun sets at three oh six, so <laughs> you got to get all your stuff out. That is true. That's a good noon. point. That's a good point. And and it gets dark well, the as sun's fuck. Coming up later, so it's like by nine a.m. to three p.m. Like yeah. get your apple butter and then go home and lock it up. No, you're right. What's your where, where do you want to go? What's your vacation spot? Mm. Paris. No, 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 no. I've already done that. Been there, done that. Whatever. I got what, the shirt. Paris? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah I'm going to it. Thailand in January. That's cool. Um, I want to go to Italy because I feel like I have a good time there. Yeah. Um, and uh, I don't know. Something hot and sexy. Nice. When you travel you get, somewhere you cold. trying to get flown out? Oh, absolutely. Look <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> how 20, beautiful she is. 20, <laughs> she's paying for own ticket. No, no, I am paying. But that's but the thing. That's what's weird about pay. Marie. Is that like she does? She she talks a big game, but I don't think you're out there hoeing it out that much. I'm not hoeing it out. That's what 2023 I'm saying. 2023 is the year I'm trying to get my rent. I paid. feel like every year I've known you, the next <laughs> year. 2023 is my whole year. Let's put that pussy to work. Put, it's, 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 like, it's, it's pussy and personality because not everybody's getting pussy. Wow. Some people just get to sit next to me and be like, <laughs> "You're uh, so funny." Yeah, yeah. Then the last day's like, "Ha ha ha ha!" Pretty good time we're having here in Thailand, isn't it? <laughs> you have to be like, "Yeah, you're it like, is." Oh, you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to give yourself food poisoning. I'm, you're like, oh, I'm, I was I'm going riding to. an elephant. I'm... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good move, actually. You promised the last night, and then you just have to eat like a, a bad oyster. <laughs> and then you're out. <laughs> 
oh, it's coming out of both ends. <laughs> yeah. It's coming out. The, it's coming out the front. <laughs> My pussy has diarrhea somehow. <laughs> I'd love to fuck you, but... but uh... I'm on my period. My pussy's got diarrhea. Like but the also, back... get the caviar. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feed it to me? Caviar makes your pussy feel better. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay, all right. All That's right. what I want for myself. Also, to be fair, yeah. we coming out of a pandemic. Sure. You can't be getting flued out. To First of all, we couldn't go nowhere. True. Nowhere cute. And secondly, like, you're not about to give me monkey pox in Spain. <laughs> I'm not getting it. I got my second monkey pox Good shot. Good for you. Good for you, Mateo. I like that you still monkey getting COVID. Monkey pox in Spain. I'm telling you. I don't want that. <laughs> Get your monkey pox shot and go for monkey it. Monkey pox with an accent? I definitely don't want that. They have... change it to M pox now. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like, well, the branding issue. I'm like, branding? It does sound, monkey pox does sound racist. <laughs> it, like it really does. It, remember the the. It sounds like something that H and M came up with. Um, <laughs> oh my god! No, was it H and M? It was definitely H and M. The, the, the coolest shirt. monkey yeah. in the jungle. And it was a little black <laughs> yeah. wearing it. And I think he was on monkey bars. It was like. Mm. <laughs> It was almost so racist that it canceled out. Right. It was almost so many things. It was right. like, TV sketch. Your mind was right. like confused. It, it was, was like, like dazzle camouflage. And you know his mother was on set making sure like nobody was touching her kid. Right. right and it's like, right. but sis, why did you let him put that on? I know. Could have we got a rhino? A rhino solves it all. Yeah, Anything, you're right. You know, like giraffe. A, yeah. Give us something else. Yeah. Lion. A King zebra. of the jungle. Come on. Anything. A zebra. Yeah. Um, who played the zebra in Madagascar? Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Chris Rock. Yeah. 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 Black. Yeah. And white. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So you were just, you weren't doing shit during the pandemic, huh? You were me? just staying home? I don't know. You're I was talking traveling. talking to me every single day. Uh, nice. I, I traveled a little, a little bit. I was that first wave of um, people that went to, what's uh. the... Tulum. <laughs> <laughs> like Eldis. Eldis was on vacation for four months during the pandemic. He was on a fucking road trip. It was fucking hilarious. Where did you go? I was in uh, Ohio, my girlfriend's parents' place for like five months that first year. Tulum, Ohio. We No, we didn't go to Tulum. No, right? no, I'm kidding. Oh. This is about the same. <laughs> oh, oh. You went somewhere, didn't like, you go? We took a Ohio. road trip from like Ohio to Utah, Colorado. Oh, okay, some desert just shit. Some, Very mormon -y. Just some. It's nice yeah. over there, though. It's cute. That's cool. Let's not say things we can't do. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'm not saying the culture, but the fucking, you know, the big ass rocks, those big ass orange yeah, rocks. Yeah, we did some national parks and shit. And you saw like legit cool. cacti? The cactus that like are in the cartoons like this? <laughs> not cactus. <laughs> you know? like rock, like more, like some, more like some red rock shit. You know. Saw the salt flats in Utah. So you're in Tulum this is like by this yourself? scene in the no. birdcage. No, I wasn't in Tulum by myself. <laughs> Who are you with? I went with a bunch of girls. Uh, we got okay. a house we, that had a pool, and we were like, yeah. This is what, like April <laughs> This was September 2020. Oh, September, okay. Respect. Yeah, I went for my birthday. Nice. Um, it was cute. Yeah. You know, I stayed in New York the whole time. You didn't leave? You didn't? You weren't on that boat in Brazil that the gays drowned? <laughs> no. Oh, that was in Mexico, in Puerto Vallarta. That was hysterical. Gays were having a field day. I was day. zooming in. I said, I think I know him. <laughs> one mustache. Yeah, I was like somebody I know. <laughs> I've seen his OnlyFans. <laughs> I stayed in New York the whole time, and the first place that I went was like April 2021, or maybe it was May, and I went to Spain to go see... Well, I was, I was planning on a trip to go see my ex, and right. he, he lives in Spain, and we had this whole thing. We we're gonna go to Spain. I was gonna go to Italy, and blah blah blah. And so I was flying from New York to Paris, Paris to Barcelona. And when I got to Paris, I called him. I was like, "Hey, I'll see you in two hours." And he was like, "Amore, I have COVID." Wow. And I was like, "But I douched." Yeah, <laughs> but I but I haven't had a solid food in forty eight hours. Right. I I've been, been, on, I've been on broth. <laughs> Broth. I'm not Delta broth. Broth. I'm not even drinking water. In case that creates a movement. Oh my god. Being so, gay yeah, is hard. I did the whole thing myself. I did the yeah. whole vacation myself. Wow. But I had friends in Spain and Italy, so it ended up being a really beautiful trip. Right. Mm -hmm. But you but, didn't you know, get you didn't get dick down. Well, that's not <laughs> yeah. You didn't say all that. <laughs> First of all, wrong. <laughs> Secondly, I'm sorry. The passport got stamped, and so did my friend. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I briefly tried not to be homophobic, and I've learned my lesson. <laughs> well, actually, to be fair, I didn't get dicked down. Oh, uh, okay. I was, I was being nice, but it was funny because when I got to Spain, I had to quickly get like another hotel. And then he was, he's like, you can stay here to help me feel better. And I was like, no. Absolutely <laughs> not. I bought him some ibuprofen, threw it up to his balcony. I was like, going to Italy, child. <laughs> yeah. That's great. This was the, uh -huh. so yeah. that was a really good relationship that you had. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> It was so good. We're still friends. I gotta go. 
Make the cut real abrupt, Elvis. <laughs> Slice it right there. We're all gonna be doing in different positions. <laughs> it would be a really bad episode of Bewitched, like when the magic happens. Yeah. Oh uh, fuck. Damn, that's so. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that was funny. Stop I do. So messy. I'm a messy little slut. What can I say? Mm-hmm. I'm a messy little bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been called that so many times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, no, but uh, I don't know. I, I do want to go on a little, I want to go vacation mode soon, but. Where are you going to go? Once you're done with the touring, we're both oh, ending our yeah. tour in May. In May, yeah. So yeah. I'm going, I'm off, I'm out. I'm going to Italy. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, I'll have my new hair. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Mateo's going to be slow motion coming out of a pool and everything. Oh, real. Waiting for tornadoes just to let my hair feel the wind with no shame. Okay, so where yeah. are you going to go? I don't know, dude. Greece. I, I'd probably go to Greece. Yeah, my cousin's getting married. Oh, It'll cool. be nice. Yeah. So she's getting married in September. Probably do a little Euro trip, mm-hmm. that kind of shit. Go to Italy. You should go, I'll to, go like, to Italy. I haven't, I haven't been to. I've never been to Italy because Greece and Italy, it's so. No, but you will. You you need you need to go to Rome. Okay. You need to I go do. To I'm Rome. a I'm a fucking I'm a history nerd too. So okay. It'll be nice to and know the that. Food shit. will be strength and honor. Yeah. <laughs> the pasta. You'll. It's literally Stavros. You'll yeah. lose your fucking I'm in there. mind. I'll get that going, guys. I want to go right. to Greece too. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. I've never been to Greece. You never done it. You've never been to Greece, anything, Italy, none of that. Mm-mm-mm. But this is the year somebody's gonna send me there. I feel it. I'm telling you, I feel it. I feel it in my crew chairs. <laughs> this is the year that someone's gonna pay my rent because I'm not doing that no more. I just yeah. feel like you need to apply year, yourself. Me. Yeah, I know I'm doing bad. You're just lazy. <laughs> You're I la- am. <laughs> yeah, that's what it comes down to. I'm like, dang, am I off to sleep with this old ass man? <laughs> yeah, look. I'm never gonna do that. Yeah, Marie, how old? <laughs> Wanna go to Greece? <laughs> And I'm like, mm, I'm, up, I'm, up, I'm gonna leave his blood pressure medicine. <laughs> You're gonna switch it out. You're gonna put Tic Tacs in his fucking blood oh, pressure medicine. And the Cialis out the window. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. You've now, yeah. What's the oldest? I mean, oldest person you've ever hooked up with? Uh, probably in their forties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm also I'm, 36, so that's right, not. Right, I mean, right. now it's like I'm. I'm moving on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. going to be, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Methuselah soon. Of course. Methuselah. Yeah. <laughs> She's like that old character in the Bible that's like 100, 800 years old. What book, what book is she in? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I've heard the name, though. Methuselah? It's been around. I thought that was a Disney character. <laughs> it is. It okay, should be. It is. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let's see. Methuselah. Let's find her. Let's see. Okay, you just knew how to spell she it. Yeah, the huh? longest. The longest <laughs> I think, the you Bible. just had it ready Dying at the age of 969. 969. <laughs> wow. Methuselah. shall send. A man of the... what? The, the father... The grandfather of, of Noah. He was Noah's so grandfather. Gran- I didn't even know Noah Math- had a dad. <laughs> Mathosalas. Mathosalas. Yeah. He was a biblical patriarch and a figure in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. He had the longest lifespan. So I'll just give it. There you go. You're Methuselah. I'm the me. Well, gay gay men are uh, historically really great about aging. <laughs> These are the gay community. Oh, I'll look like this when I'm 94. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you won't believe in yourself. That's the problem. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course not. It is pretty. But that nice. face is gonna be tight. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You have to drink all your food. <laughs> Like, this is nice. When I when I blow my nose, it comes out my back. Oh yeah, you're gonna be giving young Joan Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> May she rest in peace. Joan, I love. What Joan. about you? What's the oldest fucking guy you? Uh, up with? Like four, mm, maybe like forty. I don't 40, know. I'm, I'm youthful. I don't want to see no wrinkly. <laughs> well, they're all wrinkly. Well, I don't want to see them either. Yeah. <laughs> what if Marie's just asexual? That's what we come down to. Yeah, you don't. Re- you know, it's very possible. No, I'm a sexual person. Okay. But I also, like, I could tell by looking at a man if it's go- he gonna make me come, and I, I don't even want to waste my time. You're like time. the lowest level X-Men. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like- <laughs> but still better than Jubilee. Yeah. <laughs> what was she, just like fireworks in a yellow she coat? She was hot, though. I loved Jubilee. Yeah. Or no, I'm thinking of the other, no, Rogue was the hot one. Rogue. Rogue. I really had a big thing yeah. for Rogue. Sugar. Yeah. Okay, Sh- yeah. she sounded like Gambit. Ga- no, no, Gambit was Creole. Well, she was Southern. My name's That's the Rose. same thing. No, it's not. They both no. You know, Gambit was Cajun. Cajun. Cajun, Cajun Creole. Was like New yeah. Orleans. Cajun, Cajun is a food, man. Oh, I'll do the Creole. 
I that knew what well, I knew, and she was like, "Well, sugar, that's sure. the same. Yeah. They're, no, they're the both same. giving you sweet tea." No, if you, no, look no. Up, We should look up on YouTube Gambit and Rogue on yeah, having a combo. It's the same yes. person doing both voices. <laughs> <laughs> Be like this, and like this. It's like Mel, whatever his name is, who did all the Bugs Bunny voices. Oh, Mel Blank. Or Mel Blank. I Mel Blank. So. Gambit, Rogue, X Men. The only time I've ever seen you with a dude was like, uh, it was like an honestly, I was he was like, I want to say like extra strength white guy. What? He was, like, one, he was yeah. like, he was like, he was like, he might have been like a foreign that one, yeah, that white one. guy. Oh, see, I don't even remember This was him. years ago. That might have been my accountant. <laughs> <laughs> that was my attorney. You were dipping your toes in playing. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, no, I wasn't that. No? No. He was coming around? Wow, you're oh. interesting. What do you mean? He was coming around oh and God, no. Stavros, four million. You better work. Four million. Oh, congratulations. Oh, wow. Hold on, let's play it. Let's listen here. Uh-oh. Why don't you, you walk boys right at calm it? down? You afraid I'm gonna hurt him? I always thought you had a soft spot for that Cajun. <laughs> he said it so you racistly. It <laughs> a legit slur. <laughs> Whatever. Vacation, eh? Hey, here's a little you something right, different to him. Very French, yeah. There's a little more French, and she's just like, you know. I'm getting your butt out of my car. She sounds like Peggy Hill. Yeah, yeah. She sounds, she, she, she sounds like a mix between Bobby and Peggy. <laughs> it's Bobby's bitch. And I don't know why I'm so attracted to that. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. God, they're bringing this cartoon back. It's a great cartoon. I love it. The beginning, Storm. the fucking guitar. <laughs> <riff>. <laughs> Storm is so dramatic. They'd be like, Storm, could you open the window? Winds rise and sweep the thorns from our pot. <laughs> Elvis, how long have we been doing? Because Mateo's got to go, you know. I just want to make we're, sure we're we get... We're at 27 right oh, okay, now. Okay, okay. We're, we're Gambit and Rogue fucking? Oh, I have to go in like 40 minutes. Okay. okay 40 cool. minutes? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. That's <laughs> yeah. how long it's taking me to get here. I have a call <laughs> at 645. It's 6 o'clock okay. right now. So a call? Okay. For what? Give me my phone. <laughs> what kind of call you have at 6 o'clock? For a thing, for some shows, it's important that I have to do that. Oh, oui, oui, oui. Bien sûr, bien sûr. No, how dare you motherfuckers speak a language I can't understand. <laughs> we got son visage. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Stop showing a stop showing off, Mateo. We get it. You speak a lot of languages. Nineteen languages and counting. <laughs> How do you say I'm sorry in Greek? No, I'm not telling you. I'm not giving you any more linguistic this knowledge. Spiaccia or something like that. That's Italian. Me Spiaccia. Oh, but look at me knowing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's Duolingo. Good. I'm, <laughs> I'm really proud of you. <laughs> um, yeah, they were pretty. They are. They yeah. Gambit and Rogue. I'm in. I, I don't know. Rogue was definitely a. A formative cartoon crush for me. Oh yeah, red hair was always, you know, uh, uh, fucking poison ivy. Poison ivy was big. Love uh, poison ivy. Well, uh, Roger Rabbit, Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Come on. Who is voiced by um Kathleen Turner? Kathleen Turner, isn't that fantastic? Yeah. I love. I'll every once in a while I'll just watch Kathleen Turner interviews because she's just one of these actresses that is so. Um, honest, down to earth, and delusional at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love her. Like acting. What is acting? I couldn't even believe it myself when I first started to <laughs> act. When I back in my day, the forties, and I was young and beautiful. Now it's like she's. So I don't dramatic. know who Kathleen Turner is. Oh, you d- you would recognize her voice. Yeah. She's well, you just really... did it, and I still was yeah. like. Mm. <laughs> she. I believe she played later. She played Chandler's dad okay no, in a very not, tran- not to in say a very, in a very to me. transphobic <laughs> character uh, <laughs> where it was like it was like you know what i'm saying it was like I you forgot know forgot about that yeah she also played the voice of uh, the malibu stacy doll episode in the oh, simpsons oh yes she was malibu the original that's malibu stacy that's a classic She's like will yeah. you do it will you help me not now i'm too drunk yeah <laughs> yeah 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 no that was good stuff well, yeah. Any any cartoon crushes over here? What are we What are we working? You know what? I was always uh, as a kid, which this is even gayer. I was always uh, following the women, the Maleficent and Storm, like mm. the dramatic, the drag you queens. Were, you were standing. I was from standing a young away. age. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Storm would make it rain. He was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she better work. <laughs> She did. I mean, she really. <laughs> it would make my little gay heart swell. <laughs> I loved it so much. I would every Saturday wait at ten o'clock for the X Men to come on and just wait for Storm. And oh my god, like yeah. it was just and Poison Ivy, Storm, Maleficent, like you know the the strong, strong dramatic women. Now, right. how did you feel about the Uma Thurman Poison Ivy? 
So I liked it because I didn't realize I was watching camp. When it was, I was very 13. campy, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was also just like the first time that anyone gave any kind of recognition to, to Poison Ivy anyways, because it was always like the male characters that got, like, I still don't like Wolverine. Because mm. everything's about Wolverine. Like nine Wolverine movies. Wolverine Logan's really good, though. I, not, like, Logan. I like Wolverine. Oh, Logan's please. good. It's, it's, oh, lo- is that the last movie? The last one was old. Oh, yeah, it was sad. That shit was a legitimately I good movie. I was in the movie. theater like, get I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why they do Logan like that? <laughs> I was like, whoop! Yeah. I'm using my hair. It was fucking brutal. Me and Marie went to go see it. Oh, God. <laughs> Gays. Okay. How do I describe it? Hit this? us with it. We wouldn't shut up. Yeah. Black people and gay people are the same in the movie theater. In right. the dark. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the no, dark, no, we're all no, the no. same. No, we're much dirtier in the dark. <laughs> um, uh, we were we were so loud that at one point I was like, I'm waiting to get kicked out. Yeah, yeah. And of mean, course. Nothing. No yeah. one kicked us out. No, thank Evan you. Evan Williams came. He was humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> Bless yeah, the, you. The guy who takes movies so seriously. It's annoying. Hey, come on, man. Show some respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the room with us right now. So, I said, so, oh, so, man. Uh, yeah, there fucking, he is. If I call him, I'd be like, I hated it. Well, it's because, man, it's like, I don't I don't want to tell you, man. It's just, <laughs> yeah. just like the book, man. I didn't read a book. But, uh, I, I I first, the first act was okay. Was okay. And he, he will he will defend the most dog shit movies. Awful. All, just every Marvel movie he, he thinks is good. Movies. He loves movies, yeah. We yeah. got into a big fight about this Matt Damon movie years ago. I forget what it was called. <laughs> With Jodie Foster, Matt Damon. It was about some spaceship. or whatever. Oh, The Martian? And, no, 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 no. It was even before that. It was almost, I forget the name of it. Sort of like, it was some Jody weird Foster, name. Huh? And uh, can you look up Matt Damon, Jodie Foster's space movie? <laughs> and it was just trash. I mean, it was oh, Elysium. Elysium. Yeah, yeah, It yeah, was yeah, yeah. trash, Elysium. trash, trash. Yeah, yeah. That's and we got one of our shit. biggest fights about this movie. And that's hilarious. Biggest fights. Man, it was a fucking good movie, man. <laughs> But what does he he think is a good movie? Like, what makes it good? I mean, any movie that's been made. Yeah, he oh. loves every movie. Yeah, very fun. Yeah, we actually hilariously, Logan, me and my brother, my I had I think it was recently when I had moved to New York, and me and my brothers, my brothers were visiting, and we wanted to see Logan because we're all like X Men fans, mm-hmm. and uh, I think. I don't remember why. I think the only showtime that worked for all of us was like the Magic Johnson Theater in Harlem, and we're oh like, my God. and we're like, hell yeah, this is gonna be sick. Yeah. We're gonna watch an X Men movie with a bunch of fucking. Like, it was like middle of the day. It'll just yeah. be like you know kids skipping school, yelling at the screen. We're gonna be like, this rocks. But it was exact. Everyone was just like sad. <laughs> it was just like when, was and sad. then we were like, we were like, all right, and then we're just like eating soul food. Sad. <laughs> we were like. <laughs> <laughs> eating fucking fried chicken being like because it's also these themes about like uh, you know um there's like a huge it's like all it's a huge daddy issues movie yes and we don't have a good relationship with our dad and we just got into a huge fight and it was i mean you could not have asked for a worse <laughs> like we thought we were going to watch a fun marvel you know x-men nah, movie he, and just Wolverine like had gray hair yeah, yeah, yeah. one of his claws was yeah, disintegrating yeah. it was like baby you don't have no insurance yeah. like you just put, we gotta talk to professor x about some benefits yeah. <laughs> yeah professor x was dying he was having like fucking seizures and like yeah. people were dying because of it Logan, it was we wild, have to talk dude. about your blue cross yeah. <laughs> not now bub not <laughs> <laughs> i saw uh dr Doctor Strange 2 with a bunch of fags in the mm. in LA and because that movie was made for gay people. Yeah. And it was Well funny he wears be- a cape. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, you know, yeah. we went to go for him, we went for Wanda. And Oh Wanda. Oh, it was, first of all, it was so gay that the the, the credits, the uh, the commercial in the beginning had the Nicole Kidman AMC movie commercial, which mm. is a gay is already of course. stamped into gay icon role. So we gave her, I'm not making this up, in LA. Like probably 300 gays in this theater. The second that commercial finished, standing ovation. <laughs> that is, so, and there was like four straight people who were like, "What the hell is yeah. happening?" And then it was just Wanda coming out and murdering people. The and only good part, like, yeah. you better work. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that had some okay moments because it, it was a um, terrible movie. It was what's his face. It was a good director. It was the guy who did Evil Dead, Sam oh, Raimi. I see, yeah, Sam so he had yeah. some cool moments, but yeah, that movie fucking sucked. But it was so cool one. to watch her kill everyone. The, the parts where she's fucking mowing people down, there's like ten minutes. 
great. That movie rocked. Mm -hmm. But everything else was fucking dog shit. Yeah, dog yeah. shit. But Evan would have been like, it's a really good movie. No, he, he, he was like, you know what, man? It's, it's, uh, it's the, it's, I love the director. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and, uh, so, so, like the water scenes, man. Uh, she's done that before in other uh, yeah. films and stuff. But, uh, Put so, Evan's man, face problems. over Mateo. Yeah. When, yeah. when this comes out, that's Eldis. That's problems, man. That's the problems. You liked him, Mateo, because it was Maleficent. That's why you liked him. It's a woman... Killing guys, you loved it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you legit sound just he, like he's it. got it. He nailed it. I wow. do a great job. You're a great, Mackie. you're a great really voices even... guy. You have, yeah. you have a lot of great impressions. Do you do voiceover? No, I did a voice on a cartoon show. Uh, I was a, I was a villain. Nice. That's my dream to play, yeah, yeah. To play a villain. <laughs> yeah, to play someone that like I was children. You'll be the villain was... in someone's life when your divorce, <laughs> when your divorce Will goes be? through. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't need to get married, but I want to be engaged several times. <laughs> I want to be like <laughs> three, uh, three, three, yeah. three engagements, yeah. and I'm keeping all the rings. Yeah. That's actually a smarter. That's smart. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll see me, and you'll be like, Maria, how's Peter? I'm gonna be like, Peter, <laughs> bro, he's dead to me. I'm married. I'm engaged to Jordan. Now. <laughs> And then you're like, okay. And every time you see me, I'm and like, you keep all the rings. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm so like she's, gonna look, she's gonna look like Jordan. <laughs> she's gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> one for I'm the getting thumb. a different diamond every color. <laughs> Princess cut pink, green <laughs> emerald cut. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like. <laughs> or you just keep it all on the same finger and, and just, they have to like put the ring on over the other rings yeah it's like that toy that little kids like put the yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. at the dentist's office with yeah. highlights for kids oh yeah, highlights the great, I spy and highlights great magazine great oh, magazine great Classic magazine <laughs> yeah all right, why don't we fucking start doing some? We we you know we're gabbing enough. I think the people need your guys' expertise. Great, mm -hmm. we're we smart. have we have some questions here. We have uh, I think we're gonna we've you've clearly shown yourselves as people with your lives fully together. So so why don't we why don't we answer these motherfuckers' questions? Okay. Hit us with the first one, Eldis. And by the way, folks at home, nine zero four eight hundred Stav, call put give us your voicemails. Uh, we're, these fine folks won't be able to answer your future questions, but we will be back next week with a different guest that can give you some answers. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, Elvis. Hit us with the first one. Yo, stop. Uh, I got paid a fuck ton of money to move to Arkansas for work. Uh, I just moved here like two months ago. Uh, I've literally already been to a mule jumping competition, and I literally go to Walmart and see the Duggar family. Uh, I'm single, and how do I meet uh, hot guys in Arkansas? Where does Ooh. one go? Thanks. Wow. Mateo? Leave Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice. I was going to say farmersonly.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it might feel nice get tossed around in a in a hail. A hail? 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 What is she called? Hay, a hay bale. A hay bale, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get fucked in a barn. <laughs> Not doing anything for any of it's you. It's going to be, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to have to be a farmer with like real rough, callous, Some, dirty hay. Yeah, that's, that's real broke back mountain. That's what I'm saying. That's, you got to lean into it. If you're going to, you know, you got to go country. Don't they have a Target? Also. Yeah, go to Target to pick up dick. A little better than a also, Walmart. Also, what? <laughs> What's hot? Like Arkansas hot or like New right. York hot? Because Arkansas hot is... Well, there's like hot guys on farms in Arkansas, like beefy dudes, you know, corn fed hot, you know, like, hey, mom, mom, you know, like, yeah. that's hot. I feel like they all leave no. to go to college and play football somewhere. No, no. Yeah, you but want then they the come ones... back. They either come back or the... what about the ones who blew their knees out in high school? Well, they're not like, going to be able well, to... Well, I did that and I didn't play sports. <laughs> I still have a bad knee. Wow. That's my sports injury. <laughs> Mateo uh, tore an ACL sucking dick. <laughs> I got a PT guy coming over to help my knee. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, a Target is a good. Is there a Target? Is there a Starbucks? Yeah, because really Starbucks cling... outside of New York is classic. It's like Starbucks, a mecca. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Starbucks in New York is where... I got to take a shit. Where's a Starbucks? <laughs> right, right, right. Starbucks outside of New York is like, uh, does anyone want any mm -mm, Starbucks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, like <gasps> okay. <laughs> this is a white mocha. <laughs> oh! Yeah, they're, they wasting their PPP loans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, wow. Yeah, the government sent me some money. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I guess, yeah, you're going to... Definitely no Walmart, but 
But I feel like in the South, people, Arkansas is the South, right? Yeah. I feel like people, well, yeah, I don't know where that is. You know, I know where the key states are. Sure, um, sure. But um, just I feel like people, yeah. and I, I know Texas because of the shape. Mm-hmm. And Louisiana is the boot. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, you see me doing it. Good job. Uh, and then uh, Florida is the ugly one. Um, yep, but um, I feel like people in the South hang out in Walmart. That's the hangout spot. Well, it's their everything. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you go there. I mean, it's like Walmart outside, just generally speaking, in smaller towns is, like, kind of like the new community. It's like the club. Yeah. yeah. I mean, isn't the real answer here more than any any other place? Like, you got to meet somebody online. If you're in Arkansas, you can do a little more so- selection. Yeah, this does feel like a call from 1997. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder Arkansas? what her job is. That's interesting, too. Paid a, a ton of money to move to Arkansas for work. What could the job be? Is there anybody, is there any cock in the office? Okay. You know, should you should you break the, the rule of don't sleep with your coworkers? That's not really an Arkansas rule. You know what I mean? Like you got. I think the Arkansas good... rule is don't sleep with your cousin. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Or sleep with your cousin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not looking good for you, but yeah, babe, are the you know, what the women look like? That's true. What are the girls giving? Do you have to? Do you have to like ex, you know adjust your expectations for what a hot? Somebody was making the point earlier. Are yeah. we talking Arkansas hot or New York hot? If you're Arkansas hot, they're, they're probably around. But do you want to stay in Arkansas? That's another thing. Are we talking you're just trying to get dick down here and you're not going to live in Arkansas full time? Mm-hmm. Because if that's the case. How do I meet hot guys? So it sounds like they want to get dick down. Because if you're saying I'm single and I want to meet somebody, different. I'm single and I want to meet hot guys. Okay, well, bitch, go to a bar and go to a bar. Get, and yeah, point. Yeah, right, it's, right, it's right. Giving so Buffalo what is, Wild Wings. Pull what? Yeah. Pretend like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you go to go. Buffalo Wild Wings. Pretend one of your tits fell out of your shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay, someone's Jim coming Jackson. up to you quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or go to a game. Don't they do sports in Arkansas? Yeah, you gotta true. go to a game and pretend a Razorbacks game. Yeah, 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 yeah. The college football team. Razorbacks. I Arkansas said, oh, that sounds Razorbacks. problematic. <laughs> no, it's a fucking pig. What'd you call me? <laughs> it's a pig. Yeah. What, did you, what did you call him? <laughs> yeah. Which one? <laughs> Which slur is it? Which one? Voted home. Razorbacks. Does it sound more racist or homophobic? <laughs> Is it you I was talking to? It's like every audition I get is always like we get the same auditions. It's like funny best friend. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. the main character. Yeah, yeah, always yeah. the supportive one with like the like the quip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting, you know, I got I auditioned for the title role of something. I didn't wow. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here in Queens with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing a podcast for the Uber and a Spanakopita. <laughs> and a lukewarm Spana hero. <laughs> I'm thinking the guy your hero home. Oh, I'm going yeah, yeah. to reheat it at the house. <laughs> All right, so good luck, our Arkansas friend. It's not looking good for you. But if you're just trying yeah. to get dick down, that you know. Buffalo Wild Lakes. You, know, you can go to be dub dubs. <laughs> But don't go on wing night. Go full price. You want the guy willing to, to pay full price for his wings. Damn. I think every okay. night would be wing night. <laughs> oh, what's the, oh There's Cheesecake two, Factory. She can go to a Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory, okay, yeah. They got yeah. their good clothes on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hit us, Eldis. Hey, Stabby. Uh, listen, Thanksgiving was all right. I mean, what the fuck. But, uh, listen, okay. but prior to that, I was dating this girl mm. for the past year and a half. Uh and she fucking out of the blue totally dumps me mm. via text message, no contact mm. at all. Comes to all her ass. shit to move out of the house with a friend huh. without looking me in the eye. Now, Holy fuck! Pretty sure she started doing drugs again. <laughs> again, uh, might be worth mentioning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is. I have so many questions. Right, it's been like two weeks now. I see her at the gym. She's fucking. It, she's infiltrated my gym. His gym. Uh, I have so many questions. I want to get petty, ask her all this shit. What happened? Are you getting high? Are you, is there someone else? All these things. I want an explanation. I didn't get anything. No sense of closure. Do I just move on? Or do I, do yes. I try to get the, the, the questions answered that I, that I want? Um, so far, I've taken the high road. I wished her well, told her I respect her decision. What? Again, over what? a text message because she won't fucking talk to me in person or over the phone. Uh, and, and whatever, wish her the best, and thank her for her time and her, wish and, her the and best. Her family yeah. kindness and all this shit. She I just quit her part time job. Guy. Preserve my dignity. Based preserve on how long this message is, I'm ready to break up with the minute I speak to me. Or do I just let it ride? I said, guess uh, even uh, an uh, audio book. <laughs> because in 1958, I remember. Go all the way down. Let's see what he said. Oh wow, he's still making the same point. You're right. I'm curious. That's why she's leaving him. About 
Yeah. Some fucking answers. I would hate to All right, my you. guy. <laughs> oh, so last yeah. time I was here, I got the uh, the cheesy <laughs> thing. But now, what are the specials with the um? So the cheese. <laughs> okay. What so is cheese? What's the question? He, okay. What the question you? out of all that, out of an hour, uh, a minute and a half, was. Do I confront my ex or do I not? Basically, that's you. It. Do you want not. to know if he should see closure or not? No, basically. closure is fake. Closure doesn't exist. No, you closure never get closure. Exist. It really does. Sometimes I I got doesn't. closure the, the other day, okay. uh, like a month ago. And How did like, it happen? Uh, I got the ick. Huh? Mm. The ick. So he was at my house, and I was looking at him, and I was like, mm. <laughs> yuck. <laughs> and I felt it. My mind, body, soul was like, mm. just. Nothing happened in particular. Just, I, 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 you literally I'm a are a villain. Person now. <laughs> you are in that man. You are already a villain in that she man's had a crow life. In her hand. Yeah, he just what and happened, a cat in my yeah. lap. What probably happened is he was vulnerable for one second. You were like, no, that's not what it is. No, that's, you, mm-hmm. what was it? He was not vulnerable oh, okay, at all. Okay. He was the opposite of that. Oh, maybe and that's I was what like, maybe a little vulnerability would have done it. Yuck. Okay, maybe, but oh, actually, that might have made it worse. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you are a piece not of shit. Not you crying yeah. in my house. <laughs> Yuck. You're sad about work. <laughs> your mom died. You're looking at your finger like, well, I'm like, well this isn't ter- going to get me to France for free. Yeah. Right. I'm like, that's terrible. Um, uh, you going to order some food or what? Yeah, yeah. Right. Checking your DMs for verified in the request tab. I'm like, oh my God, see pain. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's sad. I would love to go to a mansion in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in Aspen. Oh, I think what? that this person has mentioned multiple times that she might be on drugs. And he, he, so it's that like, is an interesting little tidbit. He, he said it too, like she was like a candle maker, like some sort of like arbitrary thing. Is like, oh yeah, she uh, did meth. So anyway, so uh, we assumed it was all. We all assumed it was meth. Oh, I, abs- no question. Yeah. But no she was question. at the. But she was at the gym. That's meth energy. Yeah, she's, she's, early, she's, she's, she's early meth. You still can, you know, before the teeth go. And you're like, it's not pills. If it was pills. She's not at the gym. Mm-hmm. No, no, she's fucking no. not. She's nodding off watching Family Guy if she's on pills. <laughs> All the sadness, just like, oh, the sadness. It's like Rec Room for a Dream. The mother, the fridge is following her. Oh yeah. God, the indignity. So okay, look. <laughs> Something fucked up happened. Here's the thing. He kind of went too... He kind of probably... It sounds like he went too nice after he got that text. He's like, I wished her well. You don't have to wish her well. She kind of fucked you here. It's just crazy. Babe, you get the closure when she opens her mouth with that text, right? When she's like, I don't want to do this. And she's at the house and can't look at you, but she's picking up her stuff. That's when you're like, she probably what happened? Yeah, some, maybe Just something up? fucked up happened, but you need to just start getting over this person. Either way, she she she's either on drugs again, or maybe he's even using that as an excuse. This sounds like somebody did something she doesn't want to face. Maybe she cheated. Maybe maybe she you know some. Yeah, it does bad... sound like it's projecting more than anything. Yeah, that she can't face her own issues, and so instead she's just acting mad and not speaking to him. It's weird for her to go to his gym. There there's some. Yeah, here's maybe. the thing: we're missing a lot of the story. We're missing a lot. Are we? we because got a this lot is of the Torah. <laughs> right. I didn't say what he told us was concise. Yeah. I didn't say he's good at. I didn't say he was good at giving information. <laughs> what's that? What's that ad that you get on YouTube? It's a summary or like it like. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Like makes the word no the essays more clear. We, we need that. We definitely need that. But the the other reason he's fucking rambling is because this man is destroyed. His girlfriend of but a year and a half. He sound right. He's like, hey, stop. Listen, no, is, my girlfriend, is. she did meth. Uh, you know, Again, I wish listen. her well. Do yeah, I get yeah, any yeah. Co- It's like, what? This is, I'm translating here. Okay? No, you are. You're okay. reading between the lines. I, I have to, as the, as the only one who, who who's me, fluent he, in sad, straight he, man. He goes, me, he goes, me, are you kidding? That's all I know. He goes, <laughs> meanwhile. Right, I'm, I'm sorry, not hard, <laughs> sad, straight man. Oh, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you are on your own. <laughs> He goes, meanwhile, I'm about to go on a date with another girl who's frankly in is better looking. So I mean on to big so but, I'm going on to bigger and better, I guess, nonetheless mm, for my own peace of mind. But is she real? Here's the thing, here's the thing. That even George him saying Glass. that is he's like lashing out a little bit. He wants to get a little power back, like huh, I'm I'm hooking up with a hotter chick. I don't even care. And he's so sad. Yeah. This man is devastated. He can't yeah. face what's going on. He's on a, he's, he's a reba- he's on the rebound. He's just he's that's why he's also <laughs> rambling. There's so many other things. Here's the reality. 
your your girlfriend of a year and a half dumped you in a fucked up fashion. Mm -hmm. It's ruined you. It's devastated you. Even this idea of do I see closure? He's just trying to work through his emotions in a way that gives him an excuse to confront her. We've all been there. How many fucking pathetic emails have you written Ooh. after a breakup where you're like, this is the last, just one last thing I wanted to say. <laughs> like, don't do it. It's, Sincerely. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Best of luck, you know? And yeah. you're like, don't. But I mean, it says, you know, <laughs> Stavros, my website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> How many of the, every time I have ever sent one of those, two minutes later, I'm like, why? Write that out, let it out of your system, talk this shit out, talk to your friends, go to fucking therapy. It doesn't sound like you're in therapy. Mm -hmm. But this shit's over with this girl. Something fucked up is going yeah, on Yeah, if you're here. writing Stavros about your problems, <laughs> it's done. Yeah, baby. You might as well And by the way... <laughs> Uh, this is what I think you gotta you gotta burn the gym down. That's it. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> While she's in there, uh, <laughs> I didn't say all that. <laughs> it, it was implied. Uh, and meanwhile, if you're a loser like this man, nine zero four eight hundred stop. <laughs> if you don't have, if you want to be ridiculed by, by a couple Real mean, <laughs> you, yeah, you did pick two mean. I know. I Muppets. know. One of the yeah, One of those Muppets in the. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Waldor, yeah, yeah. Waldorf and Statler. Is that what was Statler that their names and Waldorf? Were? I believe. Yeah, yeah. Waldorf. Um. Anyway, good luck. But that's it. No, Should closure's we be not real. I'll be nicer. No, no, no. I'm okay, just trying okay. to be funny. Uh, yeah, 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 and yeah, it just yeah, comes yeah. out mean. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Marie, I know what you're gonna be. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very on brand right now. Yeah, you're doing it's great. What I do. Um, and but you never explain how. You, by the way, the the best part of that call is like you're talking about getting closure, and then the example you gave was you just arbitrarily oh, being like, you know what, fuck this guy. <laughs> and this man is like, that guy getting no closure whatsoever. <laughs> you just had a feeling. You described the opposite of what yeah, closure but this, is. But you know how sometimes you hook up with somebody or you're with somebody, yeah. you break up, you start hooking up again. Yes. And you break, it's like a back and forth, back and sure, forth. Sure, sure, sure. The closure was, the ick was the closure. I see, I see. Oh, so this wasn't like, you just started dating no. and something came out. Of, it's like you gave another shot and you're like, this isn't yeah. right. But it's I like, the, that. the, yeah, like right. the scales fell off That's of my fair. eyes and I could see. I was like, oh, this is never not going to be this. That's fair. Yeah. That's different, though. That's This is a different situation where it's like once a breakup is done in a definitive way, it's kind of hard to get closure. And even if you're going to get it, it's going to come when you've healed and you can actually have a conversation person to person yeah, and it's not with your ex like your and it's not emotion. So yeah. you just got to fucking, you just got to fucking take some time and get better, buddy. And hey, friend, or move to know. Arkansas. Same. There's a girl yeah, who's looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some hard up pussy in Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take her to a fucking rodeo and get your dick sucked. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit us with another one, Eldis. <clears throat> oh, good. Nice and short. <laughs> Hi, Stavi. Big fan. Um, I've been dating this guy for about a year now, and he has rage issues. Oh, fuck. Um, and I threatened to break up with him, so he got a therapist. Okay. And so now I'm wondering, is this going to change? Is he going to get better? Or do I just uh, move on? and uh, focus on myself. Okay, let me just say something. Yeah. Rage issues. She didn't say anger issues. Nope. When you use <laughs> the word rage, rage <laughs> yeah. that's, do you know what rage is? Rage is the final move a Pokemon has when it's run out of moves. It means it's just flailing it's cornered. at you. It's cornered. It's cornered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's dating Gyarados. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this or, is rage. Or OJ Simpson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Right. Rage is tough. Rage when is, you you're right. Rage? She didn't say anger problems. Problem. No, right. she didn't say She's... emotional problems. Or she like, said... like, like, uh, yeah, it's rage. Yeah, rage is tough. Ooh. Well, I would call the therapist and see what the therapist says, and <laughs> based on, because I want to know, like, what does that mean? Like, are things in the house getting broke? Well, that's the thing. It's like if this has been violent in any way, you've ever felt unsafe, all that kind of stuff. It's not, in my opinion, it's not worth it. This is being, no. this is being from somebody who grew up in a, you know, not horribly abusive household, but it's like. My, you could definitely say my dad had rage issues, right? He would break shit. He never, he didn't really hit anybody. But just being around that energy will fuck you up, right? Yeah. And so the fact that you're even like, hey, I was just thinking, like, you know, I threatened to break up with him, so he got a therapist. 
it seems like maybe that could have come up without the existential threat of the relationship. The fact that that's what it took to even get him into therapy. But now, also, at the same time, if what she's talking about is like he yells when his fantasy football team loses and then he went to therapy immediately after they had one conversation about it, that's different, right? But it doesn't feel that way. It seemed Man, like, she, sis, you need to go to therapy too. That's what <laughs> Okay, what do you think? Why do you think Well, that? they both need it. Like, why, why, like, it's not our job to fix any of these dudes. OK, Absolutely. they got to do the work themselves. I think yeah. a lot of women came out of the pandemic with skin re- regimens and therapy <laughs> and all the men came out worse. <laughs> all the straight dudes came out fatter and the same. I lost a lot of weight. I got fatter after the pandemic. You Thank lost you very weight much. before the pandemic, didn't you? And no, then I you lost gained weight, weight lo- back. And then, and, then I, and then I lost weight during the pandemic. Then you- I went on the road. And it all, yeah, it's been a roller coaster. So you were like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 Either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You came out worse. <laughs> That's true. That is a good point. <laughs> In conclusion, you, you came out worse. <laughs> but Stavros doesn't have rage. You no, know? No, 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 no. But I've been in therapy chill. and shit. But no, she, Marie's but point is, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, like if he's in therapy, but like, sis, the fact that you're even writing, and you see how short this is, is because he was coming and she was like, I gotta get this. <laughs> now, I was gonna say the same thing, Marie. I was like, she was writing this. This, this says SOS. Yeah, yeah she was yeah, like, yeah. it's literally a text message. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, babe, you gotta go. You already know what you gotta do. Yeah, it is true. But yeah, like I now, think... unless we're, like I said, if we're misreading this and like this guy fucking yells at football. Let me and, just say, but probably she's, not. All she said was rage issues. Rage issues. She didn't tough. get the last guy was like, and then this, and then that, and then this, and then that, and this. This woman just said rage issues sure. and, and went right to the question. Well, she's it's a more bad. effective communicator than the last guy. There's okay, no so question. Maybe she's already in therapy. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Alexa, what's the synonym for rage? But, rage yeah. All bad words. <laughs> but I will say that is your point too of like not wanting to fix someone in a relationship is like sometimes the point of somebody you date is like you maybe you help them realize something and you're not going to you shouldn't be there for them to fix it you know what i mean it's like it's like that's definitely happened in past relationships where i'm like oh this girl that i'm dating is a fucking alcoholic and i've had a conversation with her and it's like you can't keep doing this shit and maybe she you know i have an ex who's got a fucking nice family now but she was a fucking mess when we were dating right yeah. and it's like same thing with me where it's like i wasn't fucking emotion you know i wasn't in therapy i wasn't sure it's like maybe that's the thing it's like this is as far as this, because all that dam that has done damage to their relationship, and yep. you probably, unless this is something really special here, you probably can't repair that necessarily. That's but also, also possible. do you have to like? Do you want to? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, I think that he you, should he should be mature and get himself in the best position possible to date somebody because if he's still showing rage issues while dating someone else and they're calling a talk show. You yeah, know, yeah, he, yeah. Need, he needs to get himself break up with her, get yourself well. Right. And then once you feel that you have found balance in your life, then go back out and date. Yeah. That, that makes sense yeah. to me. So, yeah. That's a, that's our sage advice. That's our wisdom. And, uh, you know, you got to do what's best for you according to according to what three comedians have to say. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most unwell human being. Yeah. A comedian. Three people who have not had a good relationship between them. There's not, not one of us has ever had one successful relationship. <laughs> yes, but no range issues. No range issues. No range, no range, issues. True. No range right. issues. No range issues. Let's, let's hit it. Hit us with another one, LD. What's up, Stav? Coming at you from Florida. I'm currently in a uh, well lifelong battle but my teeth are really fucking with me i need uh, some advice on how you handled your shit I'm currently what? having a financial and emotional meltdown so. all right let me just say we're going on this man you... these Raymond are so bad at communicating they either say too much and say nothing or they literally say nothing this there's a lot here my He's... teeth are really fucking with me <laughs> And Is there a dentist that you could have emailed instead? <laughs> I need some advice on how you handled your shit. Currently having a financial and emotional meltdown. This man is really there is not a a, a section of his of the, like things that are going well in this. You can't check good on any part of his life. Because financial, fucked up, emotional, finances and fucked physical. up, physical, <laughs> physical fucked up. So how did I deal with it? I went to a fam. I went to my roommates. Uh, my old roommate's godfather was a dentist. <laughs> he was, he's also Greek. Dr. Stavros, his name was also Stavros. Oh, wow. And I gotta say, he didn't do a great job. <laughs> <laughs> it, took, it took him four tries to get my tooth right. 
I went the first time. I went the first time, and the very they, you know, after I come out of the thing, they show me the like mirror, and I had like a little fucked up doll's tooth. It was like little and round. I just look like I look like a fucking cabbage patch doll. And, and, and I was like, uh, this sucks. And he's like, it was literally like a little doll's tooth. It was so weird. And then I go back the second time, and I'm coming back and forth from New York, by the way. And what's annoying is I I got money in the middle of this process, yeah. so I could have gotten a good debt. But when I started, I didn't have any money. So it, <laughs> I, I go back, and the second time, everything's fucking perfect, but the tooth is, like, a little too short. Mm. And then this motherfucker goes, uh, maybe we could shave down the rest of your teeth. <laughs> he tried to literally, he tried to sand down every other tooth in my fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally the third time he got it right but that was a bar that's the kind of bargain I was looking for and that you might have to find a dentist like that friend of the fa- friend of a friend you gotta go to your your network to find you know Stavros, reliable Stavros I, I want you to know is um this tooth is a uh, good tooth no he literally uh, said you know, the word the thing he said as soon as I come out of before he even showed me the mirror the second time he started with Hey, look, nothing's perfect. <laughs> it's like, my tooth? <laughs> We're not talking about a fucking sandwich. You're like, nothing in this office is perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you didn't forget the mayo on my fucking chicken I club. I would have looked at my mirror and I looked at him and said, how did you get this job? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a friend of the family. But I got to say, that this one looks, this one feels, he, third time was the charm. And the third time was like, I tell you, I'm perfect. I'm so good. Okay, yeah, we take a photo of Stavros. He just smushed the first two bad teeth yeah. together and made <laughs> The yeah, so we're looking good. So I would say that, but I'm also worried about your overall emotional melt, financial and emotional meltdown. Do you have a support system of any kind, my friend? Mm. Do you have a couch you can crash on, friends you can open up to, a family, any any of that? Because it sounds like you're reeling in a lot of ways. Um, and a lifelong battle. Yeah, what? Uh, with what exactly? With whom? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't I, say. I'm assuming he's talking about his teeth. I do like the contrast of you and this guy because I feel like you were thriving when your teeth were fucked up. That is true. <laughs> the best years of my life were the toothless years. Mm-hmm. The, toothless I, that, years. the close I got to a good relationship, I didn't have a tooth. <laughs> Should I get rid of my teeth? Huh? Should I get rid of my teeth? Yeah. yeah. Get rid of your teeth, get rid of your hair. <laughs> gain, no, 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 no. gain 100 pounds. <laughs> keep my hair, keep my hair. He said gain 100 pounds. I have to, I gotta, I have to go soon. That's okay. Sorry. That's all right, buddy. I feel we got another one in this. Yeah, but you, you guys can stay. We got wanna, one more. Yeah. Fun. Okay, you want to go? Me and Marie will do one more. You want to get ready you for the call? Right now? I'm gonna. I'll call an Uber while we're while we're doing this. Where's your call? You want to take your call from here? No, no, I can't. That's uh, fine. You could. I guess I. Yeah, I guess I could. Use my computer. It's uh, up to you. I don't want to like you know. Uh, no fresh, but you no should fresh. stay. <laughs> yeah. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a lifelong battle with me yeah. and Stavros trying yeah. to get you to stay. <laughs> But it's up to you, for real. I'm texting them right now. What time works? Because if they say 7, I'm sorry to do this. What time right. is it right now, Aldis? Uh, It's 6.40. We're at an hour three on the show, and we have like 30 minutes left to record. So we okay. should wrap it in the next. Okay, we'll do, we'll do one more. Where are you going to take the call, though? What the fuck? You can't get anywhere. Is it a Zoom? Uh, I, no, I, I'll t- I'm texting right now. I'm saying I'm filming something. Uh, just want to step out at the right time. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm not telling you to take the call on the podcast. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, telling no, no. you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what? He's like this. <laughs> Hello, Hollywood. <laughs> All right, fire up another another call for us there, Eldis. Hey, Stop. So I have a predicament. I was at work, and this new dishwasher came. He's from Guatemala. He only speaks Spanish. I speak un poco. Oh, God. And basically super hot and yeah. hung out a couple times. I ended up sleeping with him and then things started to fizzle out a bit. It got a little awkward. We couldn't really communicate well at work Uh-oh. and he only speaks Spanish. But he'd give me rides home sometimes and one time I was like, oh, I can get him. That happened, but he's like a total head pusher. And then one night head he gave me a ride home we're making out. And I was like, mm, I'm just going to go inside, <laughs> basically. Wait, and he tried, like, head pushing. And I was like, mm, no I aura. So I left. And then he stopped talking to me from there on. And I'm just nice at work. And I just try to be friendly. And he's only ever really nice to me if I'm, like, trying super hard to be funny and nice. Or I look hot. 
So I'm like, should I continue to be nice at all? Uh, what? Should I continue to try this to like fish for his approval? <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss. Uh -uh. No, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Wait, go. he's a head pusher. I think she he's means a like head pusher. Like, get ahead. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah, what I'm getting. That's what it. I think so. And then she ah. said he did it again, and it's like he's only nice to me if I'm hot or really funny, ma'am. Yeah. He don't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Build the wall is what Maria is saying. <laughs> <laughs> man's papers in order i'm just saying <laughs> I, think, I mean his manners aren't in order i think we can we can solve your problem and earn some points with your racist uncle all in one fell swoop here um. i'm not saying that but girl no, no. i'm also kind of saying that yeah. no of course this is so she, funny they should at least learn to speak each other's languages well, here's, she either needs to learn spanish or he needs to learn english because otherwise we're having no communication shit. She, here's this is so funny you see the difference it's like she is as emotionally affected by just having good manners to a guy who she hooked up with and he didn't treat her well a couple times as the other guy was with like the woman who broke up with him after a year and a half it's like this isn't that fucking deep right. you hooked up with someone you don't know this motherfucker anything she said he'd be giving me rides sometime you don't owe him anything because yeah. he's dropped you off at your house <laughs> yeah exactly not yeah. a one thing <laughs> yeah thank you you can say thank you yeah. and then shut the door or maybe leave the door open so he has to reach across yeah. and really <laughs> I think if you're having sex the first time it's kind of fun and exciting but if he's not treating you well then like girl yeah like don't talk to him you don't have to be nice to him and fuck off but also yeah. babe was the sex good? Because nothing about this makes me feel like it was good. Oh, I forgot she the opposite she's hot. impression. She yeah, says yeah. he's hot. That's it. That's true. I've been told, okay, the hotter the man, the less good the sex is going to be. Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I've been told. That's kind of honestly my whole vibe. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> this is what guys who are good at sex look like. <laughs> that's what... <laughs> And what am I, a pr pillow princess? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yes. Well, I buy them, so it doesn't matter. You're about, yeah, you lay different. there, different. you let the, yeah, you let those sweet cheeks do the talking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know this fucking guy's shit. You're good. It's not, you're a good person. You want to keep everything civil. I get it. But, you know, you hooked up with somebody. It doesn't mean you have to, like, go. If he's being a dick to you, we're, and listen, you can just be nice. You don't have to be a mean. You don't have to, you don't have to, like, escalate things but you also don't have to go out of your way to feel like these things are going well this is something this is also a lesson you need to learn in your life because this motherfucker is exerting a lot of control over your emotion yeah. and he's just a fucking dishwasher <laughs> you know what i mean i'm not knocking he got a job but yeah, it just, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. like you know it, it just seems like you could but she's got to learn this lesson because if let, this let, guy can do it to her let me make what this it, real clear Hold yeah on. girl Get it together. <laughs> yeah, Get it together. Yeah, 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 thank you. Please. Thank you. It's actually really simple. Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, we'll take one more. Mateo, if you have to go, you got to go. I have no text so far, so we're good. Great. Hit, we're us, good. hit us, LD. Hey, Steve. Hey, Stav. This is Yerasimus. Um, Yerasimus. Baltimore native, living in Chicago now. Ooh, um, Just calling to say, uh, I don't know, I've been feeling a little iffy on my move to Chicago. I moved iffy. here about a year ago, and, oh, you know, I'm barely keeping up with my bills and oh. not really getting out to see anybody. The dating game is kind of horrible, so <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, wondering if you had any advice. Um, thanks a lot. I do. Okay, so here's All what right. you're going to do. You move to Chicago, and you probably move to Lincoln Park, and you can't afford the apartment or the neighborhood. What you <sighs> need to do is move to Rogers Park or Edgewater and get an apartment that's affordable and maybe with a roommate, and then you take the red line down, and you either go to Lincoln Park or Boys Town, or I think it's called North <laughs> Halstead now. I'm not sure what it's called. And go have fun and meet people at the bars. Chicago is a very bars town, so Friday and Saturday nights are a great opportunity for you to go and meet people. <laughs> There's also a ton of different clubs and stuff you can join, from volleyball to kayaking etc mm -hmm. so if you're if wow. you don't have friends you're trying to meet people there's on the a fucking million things tourism to board chicago. of chicago <laughs> literally ambassador of chicago <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So you just move to more, a, a, a more affordable neighborhood and just take the red line, or you can live off the brown line, the blue line, the orange Ooh, line, The brown line whatever. sounds gross. The brown line was great. I lived off the Polina stop. I literally lived next to it. It'd be like, Polina. And uh, doors nice. open on the left <laughs> at Polina. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, you just have to figure out the right neighborhood. And also Chicago is a very neighborhoody type of city. So like, even if you moved, let's say to Edgewater or you moved to, I don't know, you can find other bars and things in your area to meet local people. But there's an, an ample opportunity ways of meeting people absolutely i also think here's the other thing the first year in a new city is tough yep any way you slice it i remember my first fucking year in new york we were fucking me and eldis we lived in this fucking apartment we were depressed as shit i was he had been here a couple years eldis had been doing his thing my ankle was fucked up that's right your ankle was fucked up i remember that but you had figured it out you had done you had done a couple years of uh hitting up every five and a half in bed sty <laughs> on tinder <laughs> <laughs> you were you were not five and a half. <laughs> well, five and a half was in there for a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> Let's, basically a six. Let's be honest. Swim. It was a four. Go ahead. <laughs> you were a little more acclimated is my point. But I, I remember my first year, it was like, it was so depressing. New city, it's a hard city. Mm. You know what I mean? In mm-hmm. Chicago, he's making the jump from Baltimore to Chicago. So we can kind of help him on either side of this. I remember what it was like moving from Baltimore, a very, my rent was $300 before I moved to New mm. York. Um, and it's a small city. So it's like, you know, you find your scene, you find your people, and it's pretty simple, right? It's affordable, and it's like socially pretty straightforward. To move from Baltimore to Chicago or New York to fucking huge cities, there's going to be some fucking growing pains. You're going to have to figure it out. Luckily, we have the fucking the, the, the ambassador. Yeah, the alderman. Uh, he was the uh, mayor alderman, Daly. the Rogers Park alderman, or wherever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Over the here, the mayor of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because Rogers Park is now it's all lesbians now. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> there's a creep, but it's, it's there's cat cafes. So listen um, to fucking Mateo, but also you're gonna there's gonna be a growing pain. There's gonna be an adjustment period. What he's saying is very good. Find your neighborhood. Find your little also, group of friends. Also, during the summer, go to the beach. There's fair and fests every single... There's Greek fests. There's yep. tons of different fests all over. There's Chicago's a great, great... The only time it's hard in Chicago is January and February. Yeah. Because it's just brutal. And the you're about to hit brutal. that. You're about to hit your first Chicago <laughs> January, February. That's going to be brutal. Ooh, that's rough. Day day. rough <laughs> but I'll also say this. Boom. So I'm, I'm not from neither of these places. I'm from here. <laughs> yeah. But uh, when it comes to meeting people, I, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. But when I was in... Uh, Marie's also stunning. Yeah. And I like I do crowd work in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no difference between her on stage and, and her. me off stage. Yeah. It's the yeah. same. My friend pointed it out and I was like, I d- that is how I... T-. Like, me, me to waiters in restaurants. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um... Airbnb has this thing called experiences. Okay, damn. Where you can. He's the uh, Chicago fucking. These are, we're doing advertisement for the Chicago Tourism Board, <laughs> and Marie's sponsored by Airbnb Experiences. <laughs> what the fuck is I'm this? I'm actually sponsored by Airbnb also, and Balenciaga. So. Now that we're discussing it. <laughs> I know. No. Edit this out, Eldis. Bleep that out. No free fucking lunch, you motherfuckers. Yeah. You want to fucking advertise with Stavi's World, you fucking email stavibabyenterprises at gmail.com and come correct with the offer. Stavi Baby Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> the official business email. Anyway, boom, 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 boom. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. They have these experiences and it'll be like, um, bar crawl with natives or like, you know what I'm saying? Like go yeah, yeah, on yeah. Airbnb for Chicago and look up some experiences and do cool young people shit. Just do like, some shit, yeah. Just do something. And understand, this is a general rule. Uh, you know, he's probably pretty young. He moved from Baltimore to Chicago. Like, you're going to fucking, there's going to be brutal shit in your life. You're going to take a lot of L's. And the more you fail, the more you embarrass yourself, the more you try and make connections and you don't, that gets you closer to the time you actually do. That gets you closer to actually meeting someone, actually meeting a group of friends. So you just got to put yourself out there, Yerasime, my yeah. fucking countryman. You just got to meet and one cool person and then they'll introduce you to everybody. Yeah, you know. and Chicago is such a great city. It is a great it, city, Really, yeah. you got to give it a chance because I think Chicago, different than New York, is there's a lot more local Chicagoans living in Chicago. Yeah, So for it's sure. people who already have lives that are established there. So right. I think the Airbnb thing is a great idea. I didn't even know they did that. Uh, really? listen. All right, stop with the ad. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even you, you're you're fucking. Uh, but if you use. <laughs> <laughs> All of these are getting bleeped Kidding, out. I got hair transplants. <laughs> <Yeah. just over. laughs>
<laughs> anyway, let me put my Adidas jacket back on. <laughs> <laughs> we do want an Adidas sponsorship. That we can leave in, Eldis. Um, so good luck, buddy, and just, you know, stay the course. You'll be... And you also have to be a drunk in Chicago. I feel like everyone gets Every, drunk. Oh, I, I did forget how much of a drinking city It's a is, crazy, I barely yeah. drink anymore. And Chicago's like, woo! Yeah. They drink and drink and drink. No, you'll be you'll be you'll be good to go. You'll be you'll be sucking on some hefty Midwestern titties in no and be time. Be eating at the Golden Nugget at four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love this life for you, babe. <laughs> we believe in you. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for us. Our boy has to take his little call here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we thank you, thank you guys, thank you too for doing the show. Thank you, wanna... you Scotty. What a wonderful! I'm so proud of you, Stop. Thank this you, is buddy. Amazing. Come back anytime, guys. We'd love to have you. Anything you want to plug? Anything you want? Be... Yeah, you're not coming. I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that took me three days to get here. I had a pack of lunch. I had a, pack <laughs> I had a canteen that I had to <laughs> like squeeze in water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making the pilgrimage. Um, When does it come out? Probably like January, early January. Oh, okay. Uh, Mm. Well, uh, I have my special, the advice special out on YouTube. Go watch that shit. Uh, Fun. I I also just give poor advice to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, And then on the road, you can see... See go me. see my boy all over the fucking place. Yes. Yeah, go to Mateo Lane. Dot- just go to MateoLaneComedy.com. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'll actually be in Chicago in at the end of January. Look at that. Doing some shows. Come see me. I'm really nice on Where stage. Where are you going to be? Both of these? Uh, the hideout, I think. Okay. Yeah, Good so post. I'm doing, yeah. it's like a, it's a festival weekend, so nice. I'll be there those two days. Go see Marie, go see Mateo. They're both very funny. Two of my favorites. Go see us on the road. We're coming. Every, me and Eldis will be all over the fucking place. Uh, big theater tour coming up. Stavi dot biz. Buy your tickets. Ooh. Buy the calendar. We should have been fucking plugging the calendar earlier. We'll, we'll add that. That's the that's the ad we should have done. Yeah. You should have done. Yeah, yeah. The calendar brought to you by. <laughs> Get All these are getting. And- blue- <laughs> <laughs> what do you buy? What's the um? What's the the therapy? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, go fucking go do that, and we will be back nine zero four eight hundred. Stav, leave your questions, and we'll be back next week. See you then, guys. Yeah, Ciao. Leave your questions and leave your man, babe. <laughs> All of them should leave their man. <laughs> Great show.